This has a, a much more important uh, message that we're trying to get across. From the kids in the stands to those on the field, tonight students are spreading that important message to their peers in honor of another one they lost. 16 year old Cooper Davis died in August of 2021 from a fentanyl poisoning. He took half of what he thought was a Percocet pill. Cooper's mom says those fake pills came from a dealer on Snapchat. She tells us awareness is the number one defense. And tonight, these young athletes hope to be that defense on and off the field. KSHB 41 News reporter Megan Abundus was at tonight's game. Full grandstands yeah. for a big rival game. This should be a battle on the field. Three dozen players ready to go. Both Mill Valley and Olathe Northwest have very strong soccer teams. We've been battling each other for decades. But how often do you hear a coach say this? I'm sure his team wants to, to win and my team wants to win too. But, you know, we'll all move on whatever the result is. And this has a, a much more important uh, message that we're trying to get across. Tonight, it's about two teams becoming one. Same shirt, same message. I think it alleviates the stress for the game, to be honest with you, because it puts things in, in perspective. All of this to honor 16-year-old Cooper Davis. He died last year of a fentanyl overdose. Tonight, his family wants these conversations to be his legacy. How are we talking to our kids? And how prevalent is this? And how worried are we? Get there, get there. The crowd wearing Libby Davis's son's name. We love it. It's a, just a great opportunity to again use his story to educate people and spread that awareness because right now uh, awareness is our number one defense. We've all talked extensively about it. Parents teaming up too. I think that's what what's really scary is teenagers think they're invincible and they th always think it's not going to happen to me. It's going to happen to that next person. And that's just not true. That's just not true anymore. I'm trying to remind them that all of our actions have consequences. So making sure that we make good ones. Two battling teams united against fentanyl. While the soccer matters, it's the big picture of, of what this is all about. It's about kids at the end of the day. And in Shawnee, I'm Megan Abundas, KSHB 41 News.